actually watched Barfy, starring none other than Alien Number Two. No. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I am Corbin, and this is Rick. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, ring that little bell, do part of the notification squad. <laughs> Please follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Hello. Hi there. Uh, and thank you to everybody who supported us on Patreon. Yes. As always. As There's always. exclusive content on there. Every single video we do is up before it's on YouTube. Sometimes days before. And then obviously any funds we get there is going to our first trip to India. India, we come to you! Hopefully soon. Uh, but we finally, finally watched Barfy after I all know. of you screaming at us. For a couple, it could be a couple months now. Yeah. Because it was uh, one of the first things people were saying to I watch. Think, no, I think we watched, uh, did the, the, the trailer reaction a couple, like a month ago. Um, and yeah, that was weeks. Uh, Just feels like months. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it does to you too. Well, we do at least two videos a day, so. That's true. Uh, <laughs> but this is a, um, I remember not liking the trailer very much. <sighs> really? Yeah, remember? Because I was like, it looks very, um, no, what was that? Uh, Mr. Bean. Oh, yeah. I liked the shout out to old school silent films. Yeah. Uh, so that was our first, but everybody kept saying, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, right. watch it. It's amazing. Right. So if you want to read the... Uh, I do want to read the... Uh, Three young people learn that love can neither be defined nor contained by society's definition of normal and abnormal. Interesting. That is an interesting synopsis. Yeah, it is. I don't know uh, I would synopsize it as such. Yeah, neither would I. Um, but anyways, uh, the... <laughs> So this is our first um, introduction to the other Kapoor. Correct. Um, Alia's current boyfriend. Correct. Uh, <laughs> who I hear they're getting married. Oh, really? Yeah. Congratulations. If that's Alia. not the case, then... We'll be expecting a invite. Invitation, of and course. And in to be part of the wedding party. Yep. So. Uh, <laughs> the uh, starring Ranbir and uh, uh, Priyanka Chopra. Correct. Um, who... Uh, Spoiler. Spoilers. Obviously. Don't watch this if you haven't seen it. Go watch the film. Go watch the film and then come back. It now, was... we've seen her yes. before in things here in America. Mm -hmm. The first thing we saw, and the only thing we've seen her until now, was we saw her in Pastrami Mastanani. Mm -hmm. Vajir Ramastani. She did amazing. She did. In that. She, she, she did. She was a heavyweight. So, shall we start with Priyanka? Yeah. As we talk about Barfi? Yes. Because I believe she's knocked it out of the freaking park. She was mind freaking I didn't, boggling. I didn't recognize her off the bat. Neither did I. And I, I had to look up because I was like, that main girl's not Priyanka. I forgot she was in it. Yeah. And I'm watching this girl, and then it was probably three or four minutes in, she turned her face a certain way, and I went, I, in the couch, I went, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wait a freaking minute. That's, that's freaking Priyanka. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, I, I think I had a very similar experience. Yeah. Um, and to, she, one, she looked really, really young, too. Right. Like, I mean, the other one, she looked more my age. Yes. And then this one, she looked almost 16, it seemed like. Come on, keep talking. Um, but she, she was so, so brilliant in this. And every single moment, um, like we've seen now other films, that it's one of the amazing things of Indian cinema. Yeah. How many much this subject yeah. Is put on film. Right. Because I can tell you maybe in one hand where, maybe one film where the um, a person with, uh, I believe she had autism and Asperger's. Right. Um, on those spectrums. Uh, and on the very severe spectrum. Yes. Um, is shown in American film. Right. But now we've seen, what, four or five films? Yes. <laughs> that just... Um, and she they was tackled it. just so pure and brilliant and honest... <laughs> And everything she did Come on screen, on. and she, <laughs> you just couldn't take your eyes off her. And and then the the whole story was just so good. <laughs> I've, 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 I wanted to start with her because she was obviously my favorite part of the whole. She was for me too. And this will be a good segue because I can talk about her all day. I want to read something I wrote while I was watching her. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that this woman was at that level oh, as an actor. Neither did I. 
I had no, and my bet is we'll probably have a similar kind of reaction when we watch Margarita with a straw just from the trailer, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But this was even more surprising because we didn't see, I don't remember this trailer. I just, I was so caught off guard. Mm -hmm. And and I, I, I mean every word of this and it'll be a good segue into the other star of the film there, mm -hmm. okay? And I wrote, Priyanka is nothing short of a revelation, a pure delight who is riveting at all times, brutally honest in every moment, with a bravery in her vulnerability comparable to any of the great performances I've seen captured on screen, and a dedication to the work as complete and disciplined as, I, as I've ever seen. For me, she towers above this film in the way Ledger towered above Dark Knight. Mm. This, for me, is all about Priyanka. She is the the preeminent reason to see this film for me. It was a very similar um, performance, <clears throat> uh, not film wise, but uh, performance to I think um, Leo in uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Yes, great, co great comparison, um, perfect comparison. Both brilliant performances and just kind of transcended what we thought about yep. those actors. Great comparison, um, and ve obviously very similar. But I think they both had similar. Um, yeah, that's a great comparison because uh, until that point. People knew who, who Leo was, but that was the movie where everybody went, oh my goodness, this guy's like Oscar level good. Yeah, yeah. This is the real deal right And now. then 20 years later, he would win an Oscar. He would. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, she, she was so, so brilliant. And I loved the character. It was it, the whole journey they took us through that I did not expect. Yeah. Because um, obviously we can talk about Rambeer. Uh, yeah, we will, for sure. Rambeer... Um, I think he was really, really good. I th obviously, I think she stole the show. And I want to talk about the director, too. Yes, we will get there. Obviously, we're actors, so we're going to Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Let's yeah. pull up a chair. Um, but <laughs> uh, he, I think, had a very difficult role. Um, one, being this the first experience we've had with him. And um, I think this is going to be a very... Uh, Ranveer relationship with him. The first time we saw Ren Renvier, it was in Gully Boy, and it was a almost a right. A, oh, he, this character wasn't normal, right? But he, I hope that's the case. He wasn't. He was a. He was more on the like a base level. He he had a very. What I compared this film to was if any of you haven't seen it, um, Benny and June. Uh, I dude, you and I have the same brain <laughs> with this freaking movie. It is my favorite Johnny Depp film. Uh, ever and I'm I love Johnny Depp, um, but the the film itself is it, it's that film is on not as on the high level spectrum, but these two people with social uh, what do you call it social Oddity. oddities different um, outside the box yes. and unaccepted because of their differences yes. and then obviously Johnny's character had the very Buster Keaton uh, thing going yep. on and he had a very Charlie Chaplin thing going on yep uh, but he obviously was mute and couldn't hear right. Um, and I thought he, he did really, really well, and I thoroughly enjoyed his performance. I thought he did everything the director wanted him to. Um, it's just uh, that the, she, Priyanka kind of almost stole the show. Uh, she did. And let, let me write, let me read some notes. You're going to like what I have to say. The fact that you brought up Benny and June. You ready? Mm -hmm. So first of all, this is for him. There is an aspect of innocent delight and charm and wishing was there but isn't. I saw it in PK. An innocent charm and I saw it in my name is Khan um, and I see it in Priyanka I wasn't seeing it in there and I kept looking for it I don't think he needed an innocent charm well there's an innocent charm and I wrote this. he wasn't innocent this had the chance to be on the level of Johnny Depp and Benny and June mm -hmm. part of what was missing was for, and again I said this to you before we started recording I am 100% willing to accept that my opinion of how Ranbir did was purely me. Mm -hmm. My takeaway from it, for whatever reason, whether it was because Priyanka so upstaged him for me in the way, way more than Alia did for Ranbir. I mean, this is off the charts comparatively. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would, I'd be willing to go back and watch it again as fresh of a slate as I possibly could. There was actually, I put this in my notes as well, as I watched him and I was rooting for him. I was really rooting for him to go beyond the physicality of the, what I saw as impersonating versus Johnny Depp and Benny and June doesn't impersonate Buster Keaton. He embodies Buster Keaton. Mm -hmm. I saw Ranbeard doing more of an impersonation of that comedic style 
versus it being who he is. Mm -hmm. That's just me. And there was also, and I'm getting super technical and subjective, so just hear me out. I was watching him intently, and I'm rooting for him. There was an underlying current of anger in him, and I, I didn't want that, and I, I, I didn't understand why there was that when what I wanted from this character was a sweetness. I don't um, think that's who the character is. And that very well may be the case. Yeah. It very well may be I was imposing upon him something that isn't there and I'm not being yeah, fair to him. I, I completely I accept that. I think... I mean, I, I understand what you're saying maybe about the him trying to be too much Charlie Chaplin. I, I get that. And that could be a directorial thing. That, sure. That, that, that was his choice. But um, that I get. But the, I, I don't think he needed the sweetness because I don't think he was a, 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 a sweet character. I think he was actually kind of almost a dick. That was, he, that's how he expressed and himself because he, he couldn't talk. <coughs> he couldn't talk right. and he can't hear. And so he kind of put all of his stuff out in that way to express himself. Right. And so he, he probably has a bunch of pent up anger, honestly. Sure. Uh, because, I mean, I would be, I'd be, I'd be freaking pissed all the time if I and, couldn't talk. And, and I, it I very, I, I am 100% ready to accept the fact that because I prefer mm -hmm. sweet characters like a PK or the sweetness I sensed in Johnny Depp, or mm -hmm. any kind of a sweetness, a sympathetic character like a Forrest Gump, that I've imposed that on this character when he wasn't scripted or directed or portrayed that way, and that's just my own filter, yeah. that I, that's why I'd go back and watch it again. Mm -hmm. If the character really isn't supposed to be the sweetness, I would go back and watch it again, because I was rooting for him, and to say all that, I didn't think he did a bad job. Yeah, I, think I thought he did a solid job as an actor. He was believable. I didn't think he was fake. He just didn't convey for me a level of believability anywhere remotely close to Priyanka. Mm. And, and the character leaned more toward the anger side than he did on the, the hurt and vulnerable side. And that is, could purely be me. I think it is. Yeah, it because could be. I, I, I thought he did really well. Um, like I, I agree that Priyanka was far and away the superior uh, performance. But I think this is going to be a very similar thing to uh, Gully Boy because uh, we've seen I'm sure him. we've seen him obviously as uh, Alien Number Two, um, <laughs> <laughs> which is the greatest role the in greatest any of history of all time. And you don't get to the <coughs> level then, and where he's, he's at. also his is I think crowning performances in Rockstar, which we've seen the trailer for. Correct, and that looks completely I'm, different. I'm in no um, way saying I know what this guy's capable of. The lesson we learned with Ranveer. I, again, I take full ownership of the fact that this could be my own bias, my overthinking, and not letting the role just be what it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I thought completely. he. I thought he did really well. Um, it just I, I, it frustrated I, me as all. Well. I think I was frustrated. I think everybody else in it did really well as uh, uh, too. Uh, as a beautiful story. Uh, yeah, you, I, I was going on to the director. He, yeah, great the, transition. I this was one of the most beautiful films. I, I mean, outside of. Um, Pastrami, Mastanani, and Padmavat. Right. Um, those are completely on a different level. But Which, in terms of just the natural, like, shots... Yes. That's not... Obviously, his was more CGI'd and all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, but this is kind of more... Like the, the, the exterior shots oh. were just so beautiful. And Unbelievable. The way, he, the way he shot it was all very, like... Everything was almost... Um, What's the word? Symmetrical. Symmetrical. Yep. Uh, on screen. Yep. Uh, and then obviously the, the the way he directed this in the writing, I didn't see coming. Kind of almost the love triangle. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that coming either. And then how they handled it. Yeah. Um, because obviously he, he fell in love with this one and then she, uh, <laughs> uh, her mother convinced him that she should go with the other one. Which there were two scenes in this that were directly out of the notebook. Which I haven't seen, so I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> um, <laughs> directly, and I don't know if uh, it had to be a like that they loved the notebook, right? Not, not the not the trailer we've seen recently, notebook, but no, the, the, the notebook. Right. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Uh, when the mother took her to the the site, okay, uh, and to talk about the guy she loves or uh -huh. used to love, that is directly, directly out, out of the it? notebook, okay, directly. And then the end. Uh, are you gonna so, watch, hold on, are you gonna watch the notebook? Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. No, I won't. I won't. <laughs> 
I won't uh, see the notebook. They die at the end okay. together. I figured. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, um, it's heartbreaking at the end. And so, it, obviously, the film wasn't the notebook, but those two things were so directly out of the notebook. Was, do you think that was the same way in which he had that very cute moment where he was doing the singing in the rain moment of make him laugh for mm-hmm. her? Mm-hmm. So you think they were complimenting the notebook, probably? I think, well, I mean, it was almost a direct, almost direct, direct, direct shot. Okay. <laughs> Well, maybe so, they stole it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm wondering uh, if I think they would probably just didn't they love the Notebook and they wanted to incorporate that. Well, and um, I, I wrote this about the directing, which we're looking at the page. It's very rare to have two people credited as directors and it be this seamless. Interesting. In its vision, I mean, I think one's an AD, but they got an, they got director credit as a dual direction. Mm-hmm. But I wrote this watching the direction. They directed kites too. Okay, uh, the majority of Indian directors we have seen are more caring, detailed, and aware of visual aesthetics than most directors. Mm -hmm. It's a testament to their deeply passionate, emotional expressiveness and desire for artistic perfection. Uh, There are so many moments in this film, Mm -hmm. and you would know this from theater classes that I've taught, where I would just want, I did this with open range, where I showed people how editing speed can change the way you feel about the emotion of a film, because open range starts in the open range, and it's at least five or six seconds for each edit. Then when they get into the town, <clears throat> Costner starts doing edits every two seconds to make you feel that it's more fast paced, it's not as predictable, it's a little bit edgy. I could do so many scenes just on the directing from this. Yeah. Um, and all in all, you, as much as I was frustrated by Ram Beer, I loved this. Mm-hmm. I really did like this movie a lot, mm-hmm. and I would watch it again. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was brilliant, and I, the, my f- favorite part was the whole love triangle. Yeah, uh, me too. Part of it because I, me like too. I was saying before, he fell in love with the first girl, and then that went away, and then he <laughs> fell in love with this girl, which I didn't see coming. I thought he was just going to be almost a friend to her. Me too. I didn't uh, see that coming at and all. Then they had this. They kind of just understood each other because the one had could was, he was a mute and he couldn't hear, and right. then the the other uh, was on the autism and Asperger spectrum. Right. Um, and so they kind of just understood each other. Right. In the little pocket. But yes. Then, but then she came back in, and then she got jealous, and so she ran away, and then it, you, you were figuring out what was going to go on with that, and you, is it, that's the that's the girl, right? That's the, the main, third. Yeah, the uh, third one. Ileana de Cruz. Yeah, she did really well. She was. I thought she was absolutely fantastic, and she played such an important part. She, her character is so selfless. Yes. She so loves him, and let's just can we just say one really negative thing for sure? What? <laughs> The old age makeup on this was as oh, bad yeah. as Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> that, that was definitely... It was awful. I didn't also understand, <laughs> and this is the only other nitpick, I didn't understand why the police officer was there in the end. Well, I, su- I was surprised he outlived Barfy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how did you make it and Barfy didn't? Yeah, that was, that's um, a little strange. But um, I, I didn't care too much. But, uh, but yeah, the sweet story. Uh, yes, yeah, very sweet story. Loved this film. I, I... You even liked the ending? Because it had a happy ending, as it were. Well, it was a happy film, so I was expecting that. So you, when he's walking away, and, and I'm, I'll get emotional thinking about it, and you hear Priyanka go, Murphy! Mm-hmm. And you know he can't hear her calling. Oh, yeah, that was too hard. So it's up to her. Yeah, I, did, I was wondering what she was going to do. Oh, that that's moment. such a great moment. It was a great moment. She had the choice at that moment to lie and keep him. Yep. Or be honest and let him go. And she freaking let him go. Yeah. Did that the any misty? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that part got me. That was not even close. Oh, that to part got me. I started crying when she said Barfy. But no, it, they had two great scenes in this when uh, Barfy couldn't hear when the dad died. I oh thought, yeah, that, that was brilliant. Was a brutal scene. And I was like, oh. And he, he throws, he yeah. almost gets it up there. He throws the shoe up there. Yeah. I was like, or the book, whatever he wow. throws. Yeah, brilliant scene. Uh, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, when I'm telling people, here are the movies you need to see that are coming out of India, I'm definitely recommending this I one. Because you, I'm, I am certain my frustrations are purely subjective about Ranbir's character portrayal. I think when you go back and watch it after we see more Ranbir um, well, content, yeah, I, I'm sure we will. Once we watch Rockstar, which everybody's recommending, um, I think it's going to be another Ranbir thing. Yeah, where we we started off with almost their their basic character, even though this one wasn't as basic as Randy yeah. Miller's character. Yeah, um, it, I think it's going to be one of those things that you're going to see how different he can be, and that's the genius of it. I'm sure of, it is, of, uh, and, and I'll rewatch it to and let it be, because the more I think about it, and even as I was reading my notes, like I said, I just I really do think my own expectations and desires of seeing a character like this be more like Benny and June or PK 
is is probably not a fair thing to have done to the character. And uh, who knows? Ranbir may have said, "You know what? I wanted to make him sweet. Mm -hmm. He wasn't written that way. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to be a dick." And the director wanted me to make sure and said, "Hey, stop making him so sweet. I this think guy isn't that sweet." I think he was just a sarcastic asshole. And I, and I related wasn't. to him in that and way. I know. <laughs> Quite in that way, because I don't think he was mean. That's not what I, I was. Well, I don't equate that to being mean. I just equate no, it to being that's who he is. No, I, for me, it was really because I'm watching to see what I'm always asking this question when I'm enjoying a performance, and I was enjoying his performance. What are you using? Like with Priyanka, wow, my goodness, what are you using? Mm -hmm. What's your emotional recall? What What is it that you're doing right now that's keeping you in this character? And I was watching him. I felt, and this is subjective, I felt like there was, that he was defaulting toward anger, which is the easiest emotion to default to as an actor, mm -hmm. versus something more complex than just anger. And I think I was probably unfair to him. Yeah, so, I think so too. I think yeah. you're an idiot. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, please let us know what other films we should watch next. Yes, and uh, we got nothing to watch. Yeah, but you, you guys haven't recommended us to watch anything. So Man, you should maybe get on. Oh, that. that's what's that student of the year film? Yeah, student of the year two. That's probably oh, the next one we'll let's, watch. I'm watching that one yeah, right now. On. Actually, that's not out yeah. yet. We'll watch Dahoom three. Oh, then, yeah, Dahoom three. Here right. we go.